Setting up your TV box with a Virgin Media Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with your TV and Virgin Media Hub. First of all, it's a good idea to take everything out and check you have all the bits and pieces you need. Your TV box should have a coax cable, remote control, power cable, power supply, HDMI cable, and two-way splitter, like these. In the Virgin Media Hub box, you'll find your hub along with a coax cable, power cable, and a power adapter. First of all, find the Virgin Media connection box on the wall in your home. If it's an older box, it might have UPC on it, but that's fine. Take one of the coax cables with two red ends and connect one end of it into the right side of the Virgin Media connection box, like so. With newer Virgin Media connection boxes, you may only have one outlet. Now, connect the free end of that coax cable to the port marked wall socket on the splitter. Take the other coax cable with two red ends and push one end of it into the splitter where it says cable modem. Now, take the other end and connect it to the socket that sticks out on the back of your hub. With me so far? Okay, grab the power cable and connect it to the power adapter and plug it into the small round socket on the back of your hub. When you're ready, plug into the wall. We recommend only using the adapter provided. Now, take the coax cable with the red and blue ends and push the red end of it into the splitter where it says set top box and the blue end into the socket on the back of the TV box. Then grab the black power cable and connect it to the power adapter in your TV box. Plug this into the wall too. We're nearly there you just need to connect your TV box to your TV. If your TV has a HDMI input, use the HDMI cable. If it has a SCART input, you'll need a SCART cable. Does your TV have both? Use the HDMI port if so. It'll give you a better picture quality. If your bundle or package includes home phone, then it's a good idea at this point to install your phone too. Just connect the phone cables to the port marked TEL1 at the back of your TV box. Finally, press the power button on your hub. It can take up to 30 minutes for it to connect to the internet and download the latest software. Now, turn on the TV box. You'll find the power switch here at the back and then remove the orange tab from the remote. Turn on your TV, selecting the correct source. This part of the installation may take up to 20 minutes so don't switch off the TV box while it's running. When you see English flash up on screen, press OK on your remote. You're up and running. Now you can really explore the TV experience and all it has to offer. Enjoy.